Police say drug addiction and the crimes associated with it are at a crisis level right now. One Metro Police Department is taking a unique approach to try to help people recover. They're getting people help getting into inpatient care, which can be expensive. Fox 4 Sean McDowell takes us to Lee Summit, where federal money is being used to help struggling addicts. Sometimes police officers address emergencies before they whirl out of hand. If you think about it, uh, police, police officers, we're here to actually help people. The Lee Summit Police Department is reintroducing its Safe Passage program. It's a means of providing free inpatient care for drug addicts, which can cost thousands of dollars and include long waiting lists for participants. The program is being reintroduced to include help for people who don't have health insurance. This is not about charging people and getting people into the jail system. It's actually trying to divert them away and get them the treatment they actually need. Lee Summit Community Interaction Officer Michael Eisberg says police officers in Jackson County saw a 160 percent uptick in drug-related deaths in 2022. In 2021, the city of Lee Summit received more than $400,000 in opioid settlement money from the federal government. And the thing is, we need to meet them where they're at. They're out there using, they're out there struggling with it, they're out there in crisis, they need help. If they're willing to reach out to us for help, I mean, we have to help them. Law enforcement officers also hope to see a reduction in drug-related crime by helping soothe addiction in the public. Lee Summit Police Sergeant Chris DePew says Safe Passage will help addicts see less red tape as they seek recovery. We're one of the only police departments that we know of here in the Metro that's doing this. We hope to be a pioneer for it. We hope to set precedent for other police departments and help bridge that gap. These officers also say the program isn't limited only to people living in Lee Summit. In fact, the only real requirement of safe passage is that the person battling addiction must volunteer for the program on their own, since studies have shown that addicts cannot be helped until they seek help. Sean McDowell, Fox 4, working for you.